Good day you garlic sniffers. Today we are going to review the Lynx 6x6 car. Let's go. The Lynx is a tier 8 French light, that is not a tank, but more like a car. This vehicle is in the corner of the damned. There are 4 types of people in the world of tanks. People that never play anything French. People that hate wheeled vehicles. People that play this vehicle, but die gloriously after 30 seconds of gameplay. And then there is the wannabe unicorn. Today's goal is to let you belong to the latter. Before the battle begins, you look at the enemy team. If they also have a go-kart on their team, you start cautiously, and in true French style may even retreat before your team deals with the threat. You never want to engage an EBR head-on. It is only when the enemy race car is busy with other things that you can show your face and blast away with your great HE shells. If the enemy team has no wheeled vehicle, you can start aggressively and either passively scout in forward positions or do a drive-by like my home is from Grove Street. If you start to take damage, you disengage immediately. Your vehicle is like a red wine. The longer it ages, the better it becomes. Therefore it has no use to die in the first minutes of combat. Even though the French were awful stomped in 3 weeks in World War 2, it does not mean you need to do a tribute show to that performance. This tanks has two driving modes, auto route and French countryside roads. If you are like the noob tomahawk, you engage your highway mode right before doing a turn and ram into a boat like you just saw. Use the highway mode to get to places quickly, but switch to ballerina mode when you need to dodge shots or when flanking an opponent. You will become more unpredictable than a girl on her period. In the middle of battle, don't be afraid just to sit still for a bit, peek a bit, and just see where there might be a hole in the enemy lines. You need to think before you can just blindly pee re pee re. Once you have found your hole, go for it. Your main job is to provide vision for your team. Focus on your driving with utmost priority and let your team do the support. When you see an opportunity for damage, engage your aim hacks and laser guide your shots to damage. If you find a single target, you can single it out and humiliate it back to the garage. Do however not engage multiple targets. Everybody hates you, either because you are French or because you have wheels. You are a priority target and people will kill you if they have the chance. Also, your hull actually has a side, and shots will not automatically get absorbed in your upper armor, like the EBRs do. You keep switching sides, just like the Italians. You should never become predictable. This causes the enemy team to get scared, because they never know where you will pop up next. This allows your team to advance, and provides you with more initiative to spot. You play with enemy tanks, and try to lure them out of cover by annoying them so much. Once they break cover, your team will kill them. This tank is very easy to fuck up, and sometimes you will die just because of bad luck. Do not let this deter you. The chassis allows you to do stupid stuff, but your brain needs to tell you to not do anything stupid. Keep your wannabe unicum mind running at full capacity. In order to do this, this is what you should select for equipment. Ram a 4 DPM, optics to increase your poor view range as much as possible and vents to support everything else. A proper scouting run can break the deadlock in your battle. In order to keep moving, do damage and spot more for your team. This is what you should select for crew skills. You select brothers in arms. You must do everything to improve your view range. You select camouflage for aggressive scouting and repairs. Because when your rubber breaks, you are dead or end up with an unwanted child. After that you select gun improvement skills in order to pimp your laser precision on the move. Then there is a shell layout. Your HE shells have great potential against light tanks, artillery, and light armored tank destroyers. It is also usable when you get the rear of some vehicles. Therefore you select quite a lot HE, some APCR and some skill rounds if you must penetrate. The mobility of this tank however, should allow you to penetrate any shell, because you can get better angles of attack on the opponents. Now you know how to play the links. Never go head on, always look for new angles, and annoy the living crap out of the enemy. This is the correct way. Go out there, and break people's will to play this game. Thank you for watching you Bob Lords. Sorry for showing such a crappy replay, but Wargaming has broken most of my replays. I still hope you liked it. If you did, please like, subscribe or watch some more time wasters on the left and right. 
Have a wonderful day. Thank you and fuck off.